Hi Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into these readings. Once again, these are very general. Everything you need to know about me is down below. So this is going to be a channel message as well. Feel free to check out the second channel. Um, I will be posting some other readings on there for all the signs and placements. It may resonate with you if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this. So your ancestors, right? And they're about to show you how to win without cheating. They're going to be leading you to a victory or to a certain manifestation. Okay. And um, basically they're telling you like, I can tell you how to get the money. I can tell you how to get there. You just got to listen to me. Okay. So this current time being here, um, that's kind of like what's going on in the energy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull some Oracle with this new deck. I've been loving, 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 loving. All right. So more importantly, they want you to just listen to them um, in the direction that they're going to be giving you or that they have um, because they're going to make sure that you get to this victory, this manifestation, or you know, whatever you need to be getting to or to reach this end goal, okay? Oh, we have sugar that came out. So sugar, spice, everything, nice sweetness. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm burping and stuff. This reminds me of the Seven of Cups energy, all right? So just, you know, keeping the possibilities open. And I feel like, you know, what's going on? They may put a little fire underneath your feet or, you know, there may be a couple, you know, I won't say stipulations, but I would say, hey, this is what we're doing. If you get out of line or, you know, whatever, you're going to have to tap that ass okay but no seriously um this is what they're wanting yeah and then we have blackberry which is invasive like i said it's current time being here um you know your ancestors are trying to make sure that they put you in a position to win and that's just period so with them putting you in a position to win um you know you will be in certain certain places you know your name will be brought up in rooms that you have haven't got into or you know um you haven't even had the chance of meeting these people um but i feel like the reason why they're helping you win the reason why they're trying to show you how to get there or you know um they're trying to guide you to victory is because for some of you guys here um you deserve it and for some of you guys when it comes to you deserving these things um the reason why you deserve it is because a lot of you guys have been through a lot of immoral things or things that um you weren't supposed to go through and i'm specifically talking to a lot of you guys here who you've had bad luck in romance or um you know bad luck when it comes to getting and receiving love or you know getting what you deserve because they definitely want to show you that you are loved that you are cared for and that they hear you and you're understood and this is the reason why hold on y'all yeah this is the reason why they want you um to listen to them because they're going to show you exactly how to win or it's like you've been a winner you've been an underdog you know you've been someone who's been chosen but now the time is all about you yeah like i said for some of you guys here um you may feel as if your ancestors are taking a very interpersonal approach close approach or like i said they're going to make sure you know that it's them sending you the messages the email the texts, the calls you know the it's giving me like the certain song where there could be also things going on around you like lights flickering or like odd things going on and you could be like hmm that's very strange and it's because they're letting you know they're there or more importantly that was them that sent the message or more importantly that was them that sent this person this blessing or the next thing yeah and then it's so funny i pulled the card the warning card they're going to be warning you and it's not in a negative way um it's like it's in like a positive way where it's like look we're going to warn you what's up next or what's up ahead if there is any drama any danger anything you need to evade or you may need further guidance for um they will be making sure that you understand that or make sure you get the message all right the goal is to fortify you all right to make you whole again or more importantly to help you win in all areas of your life all right so at this current time being for some of you guys you may be saging taking spiritual baths cleaning house literally cleaning your house you know cleaning house getting rid of things making room for new people new places new ideas or certain things are just clearing out your life they're just falling off um like skin some of you guys your skin could be shedding or um certain things could be falling off falling out you could be losing like piercings or you know tattoos could be fading this could also be like for some of you guys something could like fall or like make a weird noise like an inanimate object okay you may think you're tripping but you're not all right um but when it comes down to everything we have nutmeg they want you to be their lucky number seven or they want you to be their lucky one okay they're going to show you how luck has always been your birthright uh success 
you know, abundance, prosperity, love, understanding, emotional, miraculous, spiritual, physical, and financial healings, okay? And um, fortification has always been for you. They just want you to remain courageous and strong at this current time in. All right? Um, so, like I said, some of you guys, I don't know if you're licking your wounds. Somebody can have the animal to stop licking themselves, okay? But like I said, for some of you guys here, you could have been licking your wounds, trying to heal them yourselves or trying to, you know, get your own way to victory, get your own way to success or get your own way um, to the finish line. But with the Eight of Wands, they will be um, sending you some confirmation or contact soon with the Page of Swords here because right now they're watching over you. Right now they're gathering the information, um, you know, moving around, getting the contacts, making sure everything is cool. I'm watching certain contracts, whether they're new or old, be fortified or stored or you know certain new contracts or things being drawn up for you but yeah and then it's so funny here's the seven of cups right here that i mentioned earlier um but yeah that's just kind of what they're focused on right now and i felt the cherry card all you have to do is you know sit back relax and let the gps tell you where to go okay some of you guys literally have a gps in your car you could be using gps this week okay and then maybe your gps may take you somewhere different or you know the directions may be a little off or you may end up going around some type of traffic or something like that um but yeah with the night of source energy i feel like they have communication that's coming in quick fast and in a hurry and for some of you guys here you could be waiting on communication um to end something to cut something off to stop doing it or what more importantly to get out of somewhere or what's the next move you're going to be sending that in. Um, but like I said, the two wands here, you will be having to make decisions as well too. But this is all about what path that you guys are going to take. Um, there will be two-way streets. There will be three-way streets. There will be turnarounds. There will be all the different things going on where you're like, which way do I go? What do I do? Um, or, you know, what should I pick? And then boom, they give you what you're looking for. Seven of Pentacles, you get instant results. You get rewards. Or more importantly, you get the guidance. You get the mail. Or some of you guys could be waiting for something in the mail for a long time and then boom, it comes. But you have the devil card. It's kind of like the get out of jail free card. Somebody could be playing like Monopoly or that game Monopoly Go. I know I used to have that on my phone, but I don't, I don't play it like that no more. Um, but yeah, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the... Hey, man, they're sending you good news. Okay, they're sending you affection. They're sending you love. They're sending you creative energy. And more importantly, they're sending you all this. Um, and all you feel like, not all you feel like, all you need to do is be emotionally um, understanding, okay? Or more importantly, leaning at this current time being here. All right. Um, yeah. Hmm. And for some of you guys here, um, when it comes to them leading you to victory, you may not be led to victory by yourself. You may end up meeting another person, all right? And whoever this person is, you may end up having a child with them, okay? Or you guys may end up supposed to be helping each other, working together to get to the success, to get to this, to get to that. Some of you guys here, like I said, um, you can really experience the death in your family or um, death could be surrounding you or other people here or like a, a stagnant energy, all right? But I feel like what's going on with the nine of swords, don't let that stress you out. Don't let that make you anxious or make that feel like... Make it feel like you're a victimizer or you have failed or you have let somebody down or whatever it is. But I do see with the high priest here, for some of you guys here, there will um, be somebody passing away if they haven't already. Um, four of Wands in your household or in your family or there could be like death of certain situations. Like I'm getting like break breakdowns. You have the Tower card and Strong card, certain conflicts, all right, certain foundations or certain things that are um, blocking you from victory, blocking you from success, blocking you from stability or happiness. These foundations, these people, these relationships, these four walls, if these walls could talk, they will be getting broken down or, you know, how do you say, condemned um, places being shut down, all right, or things being simply taken care of, all right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, when it comes to your ancestors, um leading you guys to victory let's go ahead and pull some cards here and see what's going on yeah when it comes to them leading you to victory here um they want you to be aware of people who have a love hate relationships or emotions uh towards you all right for the simple fact that you know um these people could be trying to block your victory or block your path or i just seen the seven of swords yeah they act like they're happy for you they love you whatever it is but they really seven of swords hate you and like they deviate between the two or with the moon card these could be people suppressed or hidden emotions about not except you being victorious you being strong you being smug please happy okay and um yeah the judgment card i feel like that has to cease or these people have to be get, gotten rid of okay yeah that's just period. 
because you're helping you do it the right way. Okay, it may take you a little bit longer, Ten of Pentacles, but you'll get to the Ten of Pentacles. Trust me, you'll get you you'll get there. You'll get to your destined location, the Golden Path, the Golden Palace. All right. Give me one second, y'all. I had to order some food. All right, but when it comes down to the situation, what I will say, and then I did not just say they're hiding their emotions. Like I said, y'all got people here who have this love hate relationship with you. Um, and I feel like what's going on is that child, they love you, then they hate you, then they love you again. Get away from me, loneliness. Get away, get away from me, fake bitches. I can't take the phoniness, like uh, Kanye West said. So I feel like what's going on, um, these people or environments where people love and hate you, these are being condemned, you know, you're being removed from them, or more importantly, um, they're being destroyed or judgment is being passed on these people, these uh, environments, or certain things of the sort here, um, to make sure that that does not get in your way, all right? Yeah, like I said, cut them off. Yeah, because they said, so these people could be sad as fuck that either you're wanting to cut them off or it's just sad as fuck that you even feel that way. You love me, you hate me, you love me again, like, what? Pick, pick an emotion. And one thing about love and hate, it's the same intensity, but just two different polarities, okay? So that's one thing to remember. But like I said, when it comes to um, individuals that love and hate you, um, these people here, like I said, for some of you guys, there could be somebody who's going to try to hit you up. Or you may have multiple people here who try to hit you up, like one hitter quitters for one night stands to come kick it with them, smoke with them. You know, you know, get jiggy with it. And na, 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 yeah. Like, that's what's going on. Um, but I feel like, like, for some of you guys here, if you're losing a lover or you're having to cut a lover off, um, you or somebody who is your lover or things are falling apart with this person, you have to understand this person loves you and they hate you. Okay? For whatever reasoning um, they have. And for some of you guys here, big wing people who you already cut off who want to make a reappearance. But when it comes down to this overall, it says, yeah, you guys need to move. For some of you guys, you could be moving. Or you could have distance from um, each other. And this could be the reason why. Because these people are stopping your success. They're stopping you from winning. They're stopping you from, you know, um, yeah, from being abundant. Being really, truly happy. Carefree or being free. All right. But let's see what else you guys need to know when it comes to you guys being successful. Um, yes, we have Kareem Ray Bailey. I feel like for some of you guys here, the record is being straight, um, set straight. All right. But more importantly, your slate is being wiped clean. So in order to be successful, they feel like, you know, you have to get all that gunk off you, all that trauma, all that baggage, all those, you know, for some of you guys, you can have spiritual junk, okay, on you, okay, or gunk or whatever it may be. This thing be like right on your skin or even in the physical. Um, and like I said, with some of you guys here, you may be like wrapped up in drama here or more importantly, um, if this situation is not going on with the love and hate, you also have things that are blocking your success. Or people who are going to try to block your success by trying to get you caught up in drama. Like he said, she said, this person doing this, this person doing that. Da -da 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 -da. And for some of you guys, or a lot of you guys, this shit may not even have shit to do with you. But you guys, if it does, you know, there's a specific tattoo that maybe somebody showed you or they have this very prominent or they always talk about it, confidence about. Um, this person is trying to wrap y'all up in uh, drama. Or it could be drama about this person, okay? But like I said, it's a lot of drama going on for the collective, for those of you guys here, who your answers are trying to push you towards success, 1333 on the time stamp, push you towards success and show you how to win without cheating or without having to do anything bad, all right? Like I said, for some of you guys here, you may have people who say they ain't heard from you or you could have changed your number or, um, you know, your phone's not working. For some of you guys, you could have other respiratory issues or having issues with writing about talking or anything writing like your mouth or, or this area here. And that's because communication is supposed to be blocked from certain individuals and certain people. They're supposed to be falling off or breaking off. And you may be wondering why people are blocking you, why they're not talking to you. Or somebody could just, I don't know, or block you, you ghost you, or whatever it is. It's because your ancestors have stepped in and they're like, look, this motherfucker's in the way. This motherfucker's an obstacle. Or um, this situation, whatever y'all talking about, that's going on, it's an obstacle. No longer need it. It needs to fall off or, or it needs to, you know, you need to rid yourself of this person or this communication or whatever's going on. Um, so, like I said, for some of you guys here, somebody could be texting you saying for you to pull up or to come through or to kick it. You ain't heard from them in a minute. Okay. Um, and, you know, we have the spider spirit. 
what we what a will we leave by trying to deceive and i feel like this is some deceptive uh conversation or someone may say one thing i mean never or try to set you up or end up um not spinning in your favor but actually towards your demise okay um so that's another thing you're trying to uh block out or trying to handle all right and it's so funny it's one two three four all right um, but yeah, like I said, when it comes down to everything, I feel like you're about to start getting your credit where credit is due. Let me assess that. So like I said, your answer is making sure when you become victorious, people are going to know your name. People are going to know who you is. Everything's going to be important. You're going to be important. What you're doing is going to be important. Your path, your life story is going to be important, okay? And if for some of you guys here, um, you may have other situations where you help people, you give them advice, you give them a place to stay, you know, you feed them. You know, they say don't bite the hand that feeds you and people bite you anyways, okay? Or people, um, you know, try to be a carbon copy of you, doppelgang you, copycat you, and they never give you the credit or never give you the shout out or never or plagiarize your stuff or plagiarize what you're saying down to your personality or this could be like, you know, your slang or anything like that and you know, these individuals are blocking your success because they don't want to give credit credit where credit is due because they want to take your credit. They want to take your success. They want to take your destiny. But this card, this is a long shot. That's a long shot. Like I said, they can do what all they want to. They're not going to get anywhere with that. All right. But when it comes down to your spiritual team, they, not dream, your spiritual team here, um, they want to bring you comfort and security when it comes to you getting your credit, when it comes to you being seen, when it comes to you being heard, or when it comes to, how do you say your name being known, okay, or your story being known, or people knowing what you've been through, what's going on. But you do have some wolves in sheep's clothing, okay, that are around you guys. But I feel like the thing with you, oh Grace, is that um, you are a wolf around sheep. People who are sheepish, people who are scary, people who do whatever they say, people who are followers or cowards, they're not brave, or, you know, they don't mind if people have the advantage over them and you could have had situations where your success or your happiness or you know you winning could have been blocked here because people who are sheeps they could have tried to blacklist you blackball you cut you off get you shunned uh, make people look at you in a certain type of way but this goes on what i said earlier like i said you're being redeemed your position your power your authority or this gave you like your reputation okay your clean slate is being redeemed you're being redeemed okay redemption is here okay yeah and i feel like what's going on if people have like beef with you got problems with you or you know with you being a wolf or you being a loner you being um you being intimidated by you or people feeling as if you know um you don't want to participate in the group activities or you don't want to be a follower or whatever it is motherfuckers have beef or issues with that whatever it is i feel like those are being resolved here or those are things that people can move past or you will be able to move past okay um but yeah like a lot of things are going on so like there could be situations as well where like people did have beef with you problems with you they want to smoke with you but like i said it's being redeemed okay or you're being redeemed here because these same people like i said some of you guys here somebody could have learned that um you are a worthy opponent you're a great fighter um and you're for some of you guys you could be a lover but you don't mind being a fighter if you have to or you will if you have to if you feel like back into a corner or endangered all right but like i said the lottery these people are seeing people who have beef with you and all these different issues they're seeing that you are their ticket you are their advice you are um their light or you know whatever you're supposed to be teaching people here but they see you like ka-ching ka-ching i'm a wealthy person an abundant person a divine soul all right and whatever beef or issue they had with you, you know, um, it's like, you beef with me, baby. You don't need beef with me, baby. You need to be for God. Cheer up. Cheer up. I'm your hero. Yeah, like I said, but some of you guys here, um, you may have people here who beef with you or had problems with you. Um, you know, try to woo you, okay, or smooth things over with you or do things for you or buy things for you or give you certain things. All right, but for a lot of you guys here, you will be developing new spiritual gifts as well, too okay or they will become stronger the ones you already have you've been overlooking them it's gonna include like your talents all right it's gonna include like your power as well too when it comes to you guys um winning okay being successful moving forward i do see right now um currently i don't know how to say this um currently at this current time being here 
things are happening prematurely or things are happening slowly but surely that this current time being here um you do have situations where um, people who had no business or no permission talking about you or uh trying to use you for their own personal gain or whatever it is to block your success or to take it and control it and bottle it up so they can benefit from it for themselves um these high, high commodity decepticons or deceptive people um what's going on is that mm, 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 mm. these people are being handled and you're gonna have decepticons to come on your path as well too all right now that you're focused on your success now that your ancestors are guiding you um who are going to be um for some of you guys here there could be like decepticons or high commodity deceptive people in your life um, that partnered up with their mother, their family, your mother, your family, all right, to take you down or to ruin your success or to stop you from being successful, all right? And then for others of you guys here, you have people here who um, could have been using illegal money here or doing things illegal to get money, all right, or trying to get you involved in them. And if you were involved in them, um, I feel like you already paid your due to society or you're working on clearing karmic debt. But these people here want you wrapped up in this so you won't be able to cross that finish line, to cross that threshold here. And then um, I'm also seeing as well, there's an old friend for some of you guys here who's going to be showing up. This old friend is notorious for not only trying to manipulate you, but the devil card, they have manipulated other people around them or they have a tendency to manipulate other people around them whether it's like their lovers their friends their family members whoever they can get close enough in interpersonal relationship or um, build a bond with them whether it's a trauma bond or a real bond yeah and manipulate them and to um manipulate their free will as well all right um but yeah, like I said, when it comes to you guys getting success, um, I just feel like some of you guys here, you will finally be experiencing real love and that will be success for you. All right. That could be the success that you're looking for. All right. And if I was you guys here, I feel like, um, you know, you may feel like you're in this period where you can't see the light or, you know, you may go through this part where you already have where y'all, I can't see the light. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going on around me. I can only see a few steps ahead of me, but I'm not looking behind me. And you're like, if you take your time. You know, you'll get there if you listen to our guidance. Or you know how somebody says, listen to the sign of my voice. Okay. You know how when you was a kid and you would be in the pool and you would play like Marco Polo. And you would listen to this person's voice and, you know, try to get them or try to this, try to that. Yeah, your ancestors were like, look, listen to my voice. We're guiding you. We love you. We care for you. But this is where we're trying to take you. You may not know what's going on. You may not know how you're going to get there. You may not know what is coming up towards you, but we will warn you. Yeah, the blank card, that's confirmation. All right, but like I say, a lot of you guys here um, are going to be sitting back and watching people get their karma for fucking with your success or fucking with your path or trying to make you a loser. Okay, we have hummingbirds. Some of you guys could be using tuberosa oil or you may need to. All right, um... But yeah, like I said, you have people here as well who are scared of your reaction because there are going to be people here who are going to be getting their karma. You guys are going to be seeing this for interfering with your success, your happiness, for interfering with you, like crossing the threshold here. And I feel like what's going on is that you're going to have people here who are going to be scared of your reaction because you would have never thought that they were the ones that were blocking your success and not doing it unconsciously, but doing it consciously and knew exactly the hand they played in your life, your path, your destiny, etc. Okay. And you know, for some of you guys, there could be a Scorpio as well too, um, who, you know, more importantly, you may be meeting up with them or, you know, you may see this person frequently or you may even live with them. All right. Um, but yeah, like I said, people are gonna be scared of your reactions because they didn't realize that they were gonna be seen. Okay. And for some of you guys, people who have stolen your success, who have stolen your fame, who are selling your money, who are selling your house, your home, your family, your man, your girl, your job, um, stolen tangible things from you, even spiritual things and energies from you. Um, you have to remember that these people aren't getting away with it and they know that. Okay. For some of you guys here, there could have been somebody here who you thought was a soulmate, but this person stole from you, stole your time, stole your energy, or this person even could have stolen your peace before. Stolen your hope or trying to steal your faith, okay, and yourself and your ancestors and your sports team, etc. These people here will be getting their karma, okay. Let's see what you guys need to know. All right, this current time being here, but some of you guys need to know that there are there is a spiritual attack that is on the way, or somebody is you know, um, trying to form a weapon, it would not prosper, okay. 
handle that. All right, but like I said, with some of you guys here, you um people are describing you as a spoiled bratty bitch. Or if you're a man, you will be like a spoiled bratty, you know, whatever. Okay, sassy if that makes sense. All right, but at this current time being here, you need to remember that one bad apple spoils a bunch. Stay away from people who are bad apples. Or for some of you guys here, you could have been in a bunch with a bunch of bad apples. I had a bunch of bad energy with bad people around you. And this could be why they're falling off or you're not talking to them or you're being moved here. Or somebody's being removed out of your life or moved here. Pay attention. Pay attention because things will be revealed to you guys. All right, you just have to pay attention. Um, but yeah, last card, like I said, you have people here who want to hold you tight or hold you or... or, or um hold on to you at this current time being here because they feel like if they hold you down um like Kanye said Kanye would say when a real nigga hold you down you supposed to drown bound and you know bound is you know bound is binding you know you have people here who are trying to bind you all right and doing treacherous things to you as well or trying to um spiritually attack you in a very treacherous way all right but for some of you guys here you also have people here who um don't want you to experience love in your life as well too real genuine love whether it's platonic or uh romantic all right but when it comes to you guys being successful you need to remember that you are stronger than the adversity that you see or that goes on around you or there will be and i feel like everything is being cleaned the fuck up that's all you need to know that's all you need to be worried about okay we're gonna go ahead and pull some oracle really quickly I'm going to be using the Halloween Oracle. I haven't used this not too many times, so bear with me. I will be letting you guys know um, what it says. Any last minute advice for this group collective? This um, collective group spirit. Okay. All right, so we have the black cat. Fortune meets opportunity. Some of you guys could be seeing a lot of cats. Okay, a lot of stray cats, don't matter what color they are. But if it's black, that's that's something interesting as well, too. Alright, but yes, we have the underworld. Alright, we have joy. We have the skeleton. There's another card behind here. And then we have trick or treat. That's what we have is the owl. So why seeing and wise action? I'm going to go ahead and let you know what they all say. Um, so first things first, we're going to start the black cat. And guys, I've never even opened this book for real. Like, I've never really looked through it. But here's the black cat. Okay. Should this, excuse me, this is what it says. Should the slinky black cat cross your path through this oracle, know that good luck and fortune will be meeting you promptly. Also know that your luck will be even luckier if you, let me see. If you are prepared to take that, take advantage of every special opportunity that comes your way, okay? And that's what your ancestors want you to do. All right, the next card we have here is the underworld. It says where all things pause and begin again. All right, so here's the underworld. See, I just flipped to that quickly. All right, it says should the underworld card be present in your reading, you're being asked to consider exactly what you have to do to transform your life into something you find easier or more authentic to you. This may involve changing course. It may involve trials and tests. Keep moving whilst things may fall away and your life may appear bare for a time. This is temporary. Space is being made into which you can create the new. I already said that in the beginning of the reading, I believe. The next card we have is joy, rejoicing in the present. Thing. Oh, here it is. Ooh, hold on. My nails are not very okay. So joy. Here we go. It is time to find the joy in this moment and to find joy more often. Should this card come up in your divination, it heralds arrival of more happiness and profound joy into your life. It is a good omen. Actively seek pleasure and build more of the things that you Excuse me, that give you personal joy and laughter in your life. After all, we build in appointments for the dentist. Why not for our own pleasure? Okay. Um, the next card we have is strength, which is a skeleton card. You guys know I love skeletons. Okay, I have a little thing for them. All right. Um, give me one second. I think I passed it. Oh, here it is. All right. So it says, should the skeleton card bring itself to your attention, dare to show strength and vulnerability if that is what you really feel. Shame, pride, grudges, or embarrassment are hefty burdens that need not to be carried through the darkest of nights. Okay, so drop all that shit. All right, and also I seen this post on 
Twitter and it was like um people really be afraid to be seen trying. So don't be afraid to see to be seen trying or trying to do better, get better, or trying to be successful. All right, the next card we have is trick or treat. All right, this is mischief and play. Let's see what it says. Okay, should you receive the trick or treat card in your divination? It may be time. My, ooh, excuse me. It may well be a time to examine the role of play and mischief in your own life. You don't have to be a child to let go and have some play time, and you can extend fun to others. Sometimes we are afraid to make mistakes, and play is one of those ways to alleviate the pressure that we sometimes place on ourselves to get everything perfect every time. Alternately, it is worth knowing that there is a balance between manipulation and mischief. The former is not pleasant, and the other has. At its core, a sense of irrelevant fun. And the last one we have is owl. So wise seeking and wise action. Okay. So let's see. I think I passed it. Here we go. All right. Should the hooting owl come looking for you this Halloween, it indicates that the need for wise counsel or further information before you make a decision. Consider action is warranted. Think before you act emotionally and ensure that you... Think strategically, not impulsively. All right? And that's what your ancestors are trying to tell you. They're like, look, baby, I got you. You can't tell you what's going on. But yeah, we have zombie at the bottom of the deck. You do have people who are trying to control your success, control your happiness, control your love life, etc. All right, but remember where you are. Remember how they treated you. Remember what's going on. And remember that you deserve it. You deserve success. You deserve happiness. You deserve to win without having to cheat or lie or steal or, you know, anything like that. But... We have dawn, all right, and it talks about the light after the darkness, all right. Um, so yeah, that's what you guys need to know. This is the reading. I really hope you guys love it, and I will see you all soon.